Coaching mistake number 26, most rookie amateur coaches um, are not working out. They're not looking after their physical body. I've just finished a workout in the gym and the consequence of not working out is, you know, if you think about it like this, being a coach, uh, what it is is the perception of coaching is you're gonna help a person to uh, raise their standards, change their identity, upgrade themselves, get rid of their limiting beliefs. And obviously a big part of that is to do with the mind. But the mind and body are connected, right? You know, it's, it's yin and yang, it's salt and pepper, the two, it's positive and negative, it's light and day, the two go together. And I believe that the, the problem with not starting the day with some kind of exercise and workout is what it means is that it, it's going to be, the quality of your coaching is not going to be as good because you're not going to be able to project the, the amount of energy and the state that's needed to make the change that you want to see in the client. Because here's the thing, I believe that most people don't really want coaching. I believe most people don't really want coaching. What they want is to feel different. And the fastest way to feel different starts with how you use your physical body. Doesn't matter how many videos you watch on YouTube in the morning, if you're not engaging your physical body, your mind just won't change because ultimately there's a reason why millions of people start the day with a workout. It's because it's universally accepted as the fastest way to make yourself feel better. So I believe that one of the fundamental things that you must do to be successful as a coach is you must be looking after your physical body every day, especially having some kind of workout routine and ideally first thing in the morning. Let me know in the comments below, are you working out? Have you had a workout today? Um, do you work out? Do you work out first thing in the morning? Is exercise a primary component of your life? If it isn't, bring it in. Brendan Burchard says that the power plant doesn't have energy, it generates it. So if you want to be a great coach, you've got to generate more energy. And the way to do that all starts with exercise.